<laughs> Why, thank you. We've got everything in here, even a TV table, like a proper, Sofa, yeah, proper living table, room. Kitchen. Kitchen's on the left. Here's the bedroom. Yeah, it's such a typical motel style, isn't it? We were actually driving up this road yesterday and this is where we came off. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be continuing on this road back to Vancouver this morning. Right guys, so um, we're at the end of our trip now. And uh, we're just, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. and yeah, we're heading back to Vancouver today. So that's uh, eight full days of travel through the national parks here. We just wanted to kind of summarize our trip a little bit. So what you need to know before you go. So if you're traveling during summertime, you have to make sure that you reserve your campsites. We were fortunate enough to be traveling middle of September, which means that most of the campsites were actually free and available. Mm -hmm. We just turned up and there was about 100, sometimes 300 spots there. The only thing about traveling during our time period is the weather. Now we bought our tent and we only stayed in that tent once. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the nights were just far too cold. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't uncomfortable. We were nice and toasty and there was still shower, facilities there for us to use in the, morning, yeah. in the morning so most campsites do have nice hot showers there is food storage there is toilets it's a really really nice campsites all across national parks yeah they're very yeah. well looked after yeah. you have to hide your food because of bears so don't have all your crisp snacks all lying around <clears throat> bears will come and mm. they will eat you yeah. so be careful of that if you do want to stay in hotels just Anything that we tally up at the end of this trip, add a thousand dollars to it because hotels in the national parks are very, very, very expensive. Sorry guys, our Canon camera actually died on us because we ran out of battery, so we're now filming on our big camera. Um, so yeah, our favorite towns were definitely Banff, Revelstoke and Field. Field was just so quaint, so lovely. Mm -hmm. It's not a place that I've ever heard of, um, but I am but so glad that we You have there. to stop there if you're like traveling yeah. the same route as we do. It was at Yoho National Park. Um, yeah, and Yoho was probably my favorite too. Yeah. What about yours? What's your favorite national park that you went to? Uh, probably Banff. Banff? Yeah, yeah, because it was like just amazing. And like the hot springs as well. Really enjoy that. Yeah. And just like, yeah, little cute towns, streets. Shops, yeah. restaurants, just really nice. Top experiences that we had. Mine was actually at the beginning of the trip and it was when we walked under a waterfall mm. and we did whitewater rafting. Well, at like, Chilliwack, yeah. At Chilli Chilliwack. Like, Chilliwack? Chilliwack. Chilliwack. Everyone takes the nick out of us for saying it wrong, but I don't know what the right pronunciation is. Chilliwack? I think it's Chilliwack. Chilliwack. I don't know, but that was my top one. Walking under a waterfall was great. What about yours? I don't know, honey. There's so many, isn't there? You loved Moraine Lake, didn't you? Oh yeah, that could be my favorite, I think. Moraine Lake, yeah, because when you climb up the rocks and see how crystal clear blue or turquoise the lake is, it's mm. just like, it mesmerizes you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's amazing. great. Yeah. Um, better than Lake Louise, actually. Dare oh. we say it. Although I did enjoy the walk up to the Agnes Lake with the tea house. That's right. That was yeah. really nice as well. That was yeah. good. An yeah. impromptu, you know, 7k walk. That was, yeah. that was always That fun. was the biggest <laughs> walk that we've done on a, yeah. on a trip around Rockies. Yeah. Oh, there's just so many things actually. So many things that we enjoyed. But apart from that, anything else? No, that's it. That summarizes our trip, guys. So yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed it. We definitely recommend doing uh, Canadian Rockies if you do come to Canada. Uh, yeah, because it's definitely a highlight of mm. Canada. It's in general. Yeah, yeah, I think I think for us, we now <clears throat> finally understand what Canada is about. Like it's about it's nature good hearted yes. people community wilderness mm -hmm. adventure we live in vancouver and of course there's stuff like a stone Outside throw vancouver. but this really felt such like a canadian thing didn't it yeah so uh yeah i'm addicted are you addicted yeah yeah i could do this again so now we are traveling back to vancouver three and a half hours we were going to go through okanagan valley which is on the way back 
but I think we'll do that on a separate trip because uh, we've got work tomorrow um, and yeah we just need to get back people need to yeah. do silly things like food shopping because it's literally our working week yeah. as of tomorrow thank you so much for watching these Canadian Rockies travel series we hope that was insightful and helpful and funny at the same time we hope you enjoyed it and now Misha is actually gonna put some clips of our totals that we spend like petrol accommodation um, food so yeah, so you get a better understanding roughly how much money you need to take with you on Canadian Rocky Strip. And for now guys, cheers to freedom! Woo! Thank you.